SNP Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In May of this year, the new Prime Minister told this chamber, and I quote, I can reassure the House that next year's benefits will be uprated by this September CPI, and the triple lock will apply for the state pension. But last week, the Prime Minister repeatedly refused to say if he would keep to a promise that he made only five months ago. Prime Minister, people don't need to hear any more spin about compassionate conservatism. People just need a straight answer to a simple question. Will he keep his promise and lift benefits and pensions in line with inflation? Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we do now have an excellent new Chancellor, and I'm looking forward to his autumn statement in a couple of weeks. It wouldn't be right It wouldn't be right to comment on individual policy measures before then, but I think everyone knows we do face a challenging economic outlook and difficult decisions will need to be made. But what I would say is that we will always, as my track record as Chancellor demonstrates, have fairness and compassion at the heart of everything we do. Well, Mr Speaker, it was a very simple question asking for the Prime Minister to reiterate what he promised just five months ago. For the second week running, he still won't give a straight answer to the most vulnerable that require support. The Prime Minister keeps telling us that difficult decisions need to be made, but austerity 2.0 isn't a difficult decision. It is what it has always been, a Tory political choice to hit the poorest hardest. In the week that BP saw quarterly profits of £7.1 billion, why not take the easy decision to bring in a proper windfall tax? Yep. Why not take the easy decision to reinstate the cap on bankers' bonuses? Yep. Why not take the easy decision to scrap the non-DOM tax avoidance? Yeah, yeah. And with all that new revenue, why not stand up today and take the easiest decision of all to protect those most in need and increase benefits and pensions in line with inflation? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the uh, Honourable Honourable Gentleman raised the issue of North Sea, and this is a point of significant difference between his party and ours. As Chancellor, I introduced the new levy on oil and gas companies because I believe that was the right thing to do. But where we will always differ is we believe that our North Sea producers do have an important role to play in our transition to net zero. They are an important source of transition fuels, and we will make sure that we support them to invest in exploiting those resources for the British people.